Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to introduce you to something called learning pathways. Uh, I'm pretty sure you heard this term already, uh, and if, let me first explain to you what this is all about, and then I'll explain to you how to install and configure it in your environment. Uh, essentially, one of the uh, challenges with SharePoint and you know many other applications within Microsoft 365 is that the users um, you know, most of the users are kind of new to all these apps. I mean, most of the applications are new uh, as well. Um, and uh, one common challenge from user adoption standpoint is, of course, training or the lack of training, to be exact, to be precise. Uh, so uh, Microsoft uh, made this uh, training available uh, to, uh, you know, to beginner, you know, to site to beginners and site owners. And essentially, all it is, uh, it's a dedicated site. It, it's a dedicated communication site that exists in your uh, tenant, all right? Uh, and it allows, essentially, the users uh, to navigate around and uh, learn, uh, you know, at least the basics, all right, of each and every application uh, that is part of Microsoft 365. Um, let me first show you how to install it, and then uh, I will explain um, you know, how you can configure it as well. So um, uh, uh, it's actually, uh, you know, learning path pathways uh, is uh, something, uh, is an application that exists uh, in uh, SharePoint Lookbook, all right? Essentially, SharePoint Lookbook, I already recorded a video a little bit earlier on this. Uh, it's, uh, it's a site that allows you to uh, download various, you know, templates, um, you know, essentially dress up your sites and make them pretty. Uh, but one of the templates uh, is uh, that you can download from a lookbook uh, is actually uh, learning pathways, all right? Something called Microsoft 365 Learning Pathways. Uh, and uh, it's one of the templates, all right? And the, you know, what's different about this template is that uh, it doesn't just make your site pretty, uh, all right? It doesn't just install a new site and make it pretty. Uh, it actually installs all this content uh, training content, uh, you know, videos and articles uh, on this site. Uh, so uh, long story short, you install this the same way you would install any other template, all right? You navigate to uh, Lookbook uh, and uh, under Solutions, uh, click here under Microsoft 365 Learning Pathways. And uh, yeah, you just need to install it. You do need to be a global uh, admin, all right? Uh, if you're just a SharePoint admin, that's not enough. You do need uh, to be a global admin to install it. Uh, and, you know, you follow the same steps you normally do. You, you know, provide your, you know, email credentials uh, and uh, you have to name your site and then you click the provision button. Now, I have already done this, so I, I don't want to install another site. Uh, so uh, within your admin center, uh, usually in 10, 15 minutes or so, uh, you will uh, notice the site, um, you know, essentially a communication site uh, that, uh, you know, would be installed in your tenant. Here it is, so let me click on it. And this is what uh, this uh, Learning Pathways uh, site uh, looks like, uh, at least, you know, when it's uh, installed, uh, you know, when installed out of the box. Uh, and essentially, yeah, it's just a communication site, all right? So you can customize it uh, the same way you would customize uh, your regular communication site by adding modules. Maybe you want to add some, you know, tiles and, uh, you know, and provide some instructions. Uh, but all the training, you know, there are different sections, of course, available, but all the training is contained under the style, Microsoft 365 training. And if you notice, right, I mean, essentially, it's almost like a wizard that kind of drives you through, drives the users through and explains to them, you know, how to get started. Uh, they uh, have training organized by different scenarios, all right, if you're working remotely or uh, hybrid to workplace, et cetera. And they also have uh, the same training articles organized by uh, products, all right? So if I, for example, want to learn more about Planner, all right, let's say the, the task management tool, uh, the user would just click here. And essentially, these are the different guides uh, that have been, uh, you know, installed on this communication site. So I can just click, I can watch the video, I can read more about it, you know, follow step-by-step uh, -step instructions, all right? Uh, so definitely a very, very, um, uh, it's a great option. It's free, all right? Uh, it's free, so it's definitely an available option to the 
uh, into the user. So you can obviously install this uh, site, uh, communication site in your tenant and maybe uh, create a link from it uh, to it from your internet portal. Uh, now, um, obviously, you know, most of the users will have, uh, you know, read-only access, but as, admin as an administrator, you can actually customize it, all right? You can actually uh, customize it. Uh, and let me see, uh, I think uh, I had some customization options over here. Uh, yeah, right here, learning pathways administration, right? And what you can do is, so you can pretty much customize all the aspects of your site and content. Uh, for example, you know what, um, I mean, I don't want uh, to overwhelm my users and maybe they don't need to, to, to learn about Yammer because we're just not going to, uh, you know, uh, use it in our organization. Uh, what you can do, you can pretty much hide that content, all right? So uh, when the user clicks on Microsoft 365 training, they're not going to see Yammer as one of the, you know, products. They're not going to see any training materials for that, all right? Uh, and, um, you, you know, essentially this is it. This is it, all right? Uh, obviously you can uh, customize the look and feel of the page just like you normally would. Maybe add some text, add some information for your, uh, for your users. Uh, you can obviously set up permissions, uh, you, you know, just like you normally would uh, on a communication site. Uh, obviously, you probably want to invite everyone as a visitor and maybe have a few, uh, you know, people who will maintain, I guess, uh, this site as members. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, that's about it. Uh, once again, uh, in my opinion, it's a great option uh, if you're looking for some free uh, training. Uh, and uh, definitely something to consider and install and uh, point your users to uh, from your uh, SharePoint internet. Uh, that's all I really wanted uh, to cover in uh, today's video. Hopefully you learned something new. Uh, and as always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, uh, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.